Hello, I'm Black Bright and I'm broadcasting out of the UK into your homes and if it's the first time you're passing through, welcome to my channel. I just really wanted to talk to you um, because tomorrow, being Thursday the 12th, is the most important Thursday of the year. It's most important because we have to, this this um, video is really for the undecided. There'll be those who know which way they're going to vote. And so this is this video is not to sway you, but it is to help you decide, hopefully. Now, we've got many people, I mean, even today while I was at lunch, we have people who talk about their voting for somebody because of their personality, because they love the way they smile. They like the way they shuffle along. They like that they, they don't like somebody because they look crumpled and they looked ruffled. Or they like that, you know, one of them, they said, oh, I'm going to vote for Boris. He's absolutely gorgeous. I fancy him. I could look at him every day and every night. These are not the reasons why you vote for the leader of our country. You don't vote with your emotion. You don't vote because of their personality. You don't vote because you fancy them. You don't vote because you don't like the way they look. You vote because they represent your needs and they are the ones that are more likely to give you or satisfy your needs as much as more than the other parties. That is all you've got to go on. You cannot go on your emotion, resentment, anger, frustration. You should not not vote because you're feeling complacent and you feel fed up. You really need to understand the manifesto. And maybe you don't understand the manifesto, but just if you don't understand the manifesto, just go by what each of them are saying and knowing which one is more important for you. Um, you if somebody says, oh, I'm going to vote for this one because he makes me laugh. Those are superficial reasons to vote for somebody that could affect your life your children's lives and generations to come. So you really need to use your common sense, peeps. On this day more than ever, I thought the election in 2016 was the most important election, but it's not. This one is the turning point. This is the one where we're at the crossroads. Um, so vote for policy, vote for the um, candidate that understands your problem, Vote for the candidate who speaks your language. Um, don't vote just for the underdog or because you feel this one is hard done by. That is not a reason to vote. But the Brits love an underdog. So don't let that be your motivating factor. Don't let that be the reason why you decide to vote for a particular person. Be wise, be conscious. Um, what what can they do for you? What can they do for your family? What can they do for your businesses? What can they do for the money in your pocket? That's what you have to think about. What can they do for house prices and interest rates? Who is more likely to be able to serve you with the needs that you have at this particular time? Um, what else do I want to say? Immigration should not be the driving force. It's very important, but it shouldn't be the driving force for your um, for your situation. For sorry, for your decision to who to choose. Because you know what? One will say we're going to drive out immigration, and they'll still start talking about how they're bringing foreigners in and how there's going to be a twelve point system and that kind of stuff. So even though you'll find one candidate saying, "Oh, immigration is for." good for the country and you're like it's not bloody good for the country you're still going to get the other side saying oh we're going to um root out immigration but we are going to in, we are going to allow certain foreigners to come in really and truly if you are voting on an immigration issue it should be an all or nothing issue it should either be immigration out or immigration in it shouldn't be oh immigration is out but, you know, in certain circumstances, they're in because that is deceiving you. So you have to know if it's immigration, why you're voting for particular parties. You have to listen to what they're saying and see whether or not they're satisfying your needs. 
and you have to ask yourself why do um, why do I want this particular candidate to get in um, you have to remember that the media edits the video videos um, to get the message that they want across to voters sometimes what we see is not the truth they've edited it and cleverly pieced it together so it looks like a conversation is taking place it looks like a pause it looks like somebody's not answering when they have answered and they'll cut it out to deliberately falsify the video so that we get the wrong information as voters because a lot of times we're hoping that when we see these videos and when we see these um, debates we, that is the only real truth in quotes that we get but if even those are edited we are left to our own devices so that's why I'm saying just know what, who can deliver what you want for you and your family the Tories have launched a website called Labour manifesto.co.uk now why would the Tories create a website called labourmanifesto.co.uk once again to deceive people looking for Labour Manifesto will come across the, the Tories um, website which is full of this in, misinformation and that is so unfair to do that but those are the lengths that politicians will go to to get in. They lie, they deceit, they'll pay people, they'll do all kinds of things. Um, and we have to remember that the media is run by the elite. It's not run by the poor. Um, videos are being manipulated of opponents to make them look like they're not answering questions. Um, I'm going to put the link below so you can see where I got the source from. This isn't just coming from me. Um, they they doctor videos called disinformation tactics and that's not what we expect from a democratic election is it we're not expecting this we're expecting as far as possible we have a transparent campaign but the sad thing is it's dog eat dog at the moment and the Labour Party has not been found doctoring videos or impersonating journalists However, they have been found maybe um, creating the worst case scenario, like the 500 million that they say um, the Tories are going to use for the NHS. I mean, maybe it's going to be about 350 million, maybe it might be 400, maybe it will be 500 million. But the only thing that you'll find that they're guilty of is not manipulating information and um, disguising themselves as journalists. There is more um, a situation that is happening, but it might be the worst case scenario of that situation. So, um, like I said, Labour is claiming that the Conservative government are going to do a trade deal with the US, which will cost the NHS 500 million a week. That might be an exaggeration, and that's what I'm talking about. But the fact of the matter is there is going to a deal it is going to cost us money but we do not know how much but that is like I said that's totally different from deliberately um, lying and cajoling and manipulating and creating false websites and putting in false um, representatives that is totally different and sometimes deliberately lying um, Okay, we, we know that the 451 page unredacted document exists about what is what the what what is planned for the UK if the Tories get in. Um, we have the Liberal Democrats and the Tory have been creating campaign leaflets dressed up to look as though they're local newspapers when they're not. We have Facebook political ads with fear-based messages that are being put out by Tories. And um, yeah, somebody's definitely playing dirty. But all I wanted to say is that we have two uh, manifestos in summary. The first one, um, if you're going to vote for Boris Johnson, you want to get Brexit done. You want a one nation conservative government. You want massive investments in the country, probably via America. You want 50,000 foreign nurses. You want more funding for every school. You want 20,000 more police. You want fantastic infrastructure, education and technology.
That's if you want Boris. If these, if these kind of things resonate with you, then that is the man you are going to select or choose for the candidate. Um, however, we have Jeremy Corbyn. He's offering real opportunities. Um, he wants to take four million children out of poverty. He wants more appointments for GPs. He wants help with struggling families. He wants a safe and secure NHS. He wants free personal care for older persons. He wants dignity in old age and he wants free education for all. So that's all I've got to say. This is my last plea to you for the undeciders to when you go to, I actually went to the poll this morning, totally got the days, on, days wrong. But yeah, so if you are going to go to the polls, and I'm hoping that this might help you decide one way or the other. And I wish you all the best of luck. And may we have a safe and peaceful world. Bye bye.